you're going to do your worst, all right? Not, uh, no harm's going to come to you. We're not here to hurt you in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I'm from Protective Boxes and for the kids. No, we're Volunteer Online Child Protection Team. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Hello. How are you? No idea. Not ideal? No, no idea. No idea. You're Chris Beeching, aren't you? Yeah. You are, yeah? So what we do is keep the phone in your pocket. I'm just going to turn it off. No, can you just put it in your pocket just for me, please? Pocket. Put it in your pocket, that's it. Pocket. Yeah. Right, Chris. Yeah. Do you know why we're here? No. Okay. So my name's TJ. I'm from a, a group called PPI, Protecting Pompey's Innocent. Okay. Yeah. We are here today to intercept you. Yeah. For people you are talking to online. Who are you talking to online? Yeah. You have no idea who you're talking to online? Don't, don't know their names. What are the ages of these girls that you're talking to online? I suppose it's 18 or 19. 18, 19? Yeah. Do you want to think again, please? No. no. Okay, right, can we hold right. him? What we're going to do, yeah. Chris, yeah. is we're going to go down there where it's all You're going to come with us, okay? Right, us. Chris. Where it, where it is. Chris, okay. you're not going to cause any issue, are you? Because I will have to put you under Section 24A, Citizen's Arrest. Which means that we can hold hold you and use reasonable force to detain can you, you can until the police goes. No, we're not. Okay, right. So it's gonna be a problem. Go right, arm. Chris. Do, do see it then. For now, okay. I don't really want to put you under that section, just because of your sort of how old you are. Okay, no, no disrespect, but you're, because you're quite elderly, we don't particularly want to use reasonable force against you. Okay, if you can just be cooperative with us, yeah, that would be great. What we would like to do is lead you away from here. Okay, and we're going to take you down around the corner okay? Yeah, okay, okay so if you want to come with us and we'll just try and keep this yeah can you yeah. not touch my dog please thank you <laughs> right guys we're just going to lead him around so we're here to intercept a guy called chris Beechin. okay he's 70 years old and he's from the hastings area down here please bottom right Just so people are aware, okay, PPI is out with FTK. We're also working in collaboration with Endgame. Fantastic oh, work to Lexi Lou, okay. Yeah, She's done amazing on her logs as well. I think you probably know okay. what's going to happen. I think you've been here before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. down here, please. Uh, right. Can we just put him just here by the light, if we can, please? Right. Okay. Chris? Chris, can you turn around, please, Chris? Chris? All right. Are you, are you going to... <laughs> That's fat chance of that, aren't you? Fat chance. What about the poor young children? What about their lives? Is it about that? What are you going to do to their lives? Right, Chris, who are you here to meet? Hold on, Chris, who are you here to meet today? I have no idea. Excuse me? I have no idea. How old was this girl you were meant to meet today? 17, 18. You liar. The proof's there. Try 12 years old. 12 years old. Do you think it's appropriate to come and meet a 12 year old? No, because I was going to go back. You said they're waiting. We came and we saw you. No, you're waiting. you told us you were waiting to meet somebody. No, I was waiting for it. I said I was waiting for it. You're not going to jump in the street, mate. I said I was waiting for it. Right, Chris, you, can said you... You, thought you said you were going to meet a 17 year old, is what you said. So you admitted you that you were going to meet someone. Confusing me. Chris, can you turn around, please? Confusing yourself, Chris. Absolutely. You should think about your daughter, right. you, maybe before you start meeting young right. children, Chris. Yeah. Okay. One at a time, please, because I'm not... Joe? Yeah. Have your say, please, Alan. Yeah. So what's going to happen with this Thank video? You. Right, you are here to meet a child. How many other children are you talking to online? I have no idea. Is that that many you don't know? Chris, just because I believe you might try to throw your phone, we're going to come back over there. Away from this ring. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Can you come? come on, Chris. Right, Chris, come Let's on. Not struggle, Chris. Just, just cooperate. It's making it easier for you. Right, Chris. And easier for us, Chris. Okay. Come on. Come on. Right. Right. Can we turn it around, please? Be calm and do this in a ladies, manner. ladies, can we turn it around, please? Come on, Chris. Can you turn around, please? Thank you. Thank you. Right, Chris. Okay. Can you let go? No. Right, I'm now going to put you under Section 24A Citizens Arrest, okay? We are now going to hold you until the police come. The police are going to be called, okay, and you're going to be arrested for this. We are going to look after you until the police come and take you 
You've got a really hard Chris. Okay, let's just establish one thing. Oh, You're perfectly oh, safe what? here with what? us. What? You've been oh, I have a question. No, I have a Go question. Ahead. What's your question, Chris? How did you find out? Because these children have contacted us. We have got every single bit of chat that you have said to them. Oh, One of these girls, okay, you have told that you want to put your hands down her yeah, pants. I want to blow my nose. God, sorry guys, it's shaking. It's it like absolutely like freezing. Like Paige, Paige, can you grab my coat out the back of the van, please? Oh my god. I'm not gonna fit. Right, okay. Let him blow his nose. Can you let go of my arms? Right. Thank you. It's a little bit cold, isn't it? It is cold, yeah. Right, Chris, you come here to meet a 12 year old today. This is why you are here. At the arranged spot, aren't you? But she, she arranged it, not me. She didn't arrange you, you were the one that wanted to see her. Yeah, but she arranged me to come here. Yeah, you wanted to meet her somewhere and this wasn't appropriate, but you instigated the meet. What do you want with a 12 year old girl, Chris? Oh, God. Uh, I, no. I don't want anything with her, I just wanted to talk. You want to talk? Because I'm, I'm on my own, I've got no one to talk to. Should be somebody your own age then? Yeah, I should do. The reason why you're on your own, Chris, is because you've just been released from prison. Yeah, and I'm going to Back go, in September. I'm going to go back in there. Well. You are going to be on a straight remand today, boy. Some luck. You won't bloody come out until you're in a box. Hopefully not. This way. Um, you're a convicted paedophile, aren't you, Chris? No. But you, <laughs> you were convicted for sending indecent images to an no. underage girl. No, I was not convicted. They were sent to me. And it's absolutely beautiful because who was it that dropped you into the police, Chris? My sister, my daughter. Yes. Your, daughter, your very own child. Okay. I'm right. I'm not going to. Aren't you on I'm probation? Sorry, yeah. You are on probation. probation. Yeah. So, well, I'm not from... now, anyway. What do you mean you're not now, Jane? I'm going to be um... remanded back to prison. Yeah. Yes, you are. It's your Did own you fault. Think about this before you started contacting what you thought was twelve-year-old children. Did you think about your freedom and your daughter? Oh, right, look. I'm asking you a question. I'm not interrogating you. I'm just generally can't. I'm baffled to why you do that. Why would you want to do that to yourself and others? I can't comprehend it. Yeah, hold no, I can't either. I just can't comprehend it. Anyway, it's all over and done with. No, it's not all over and done with. It might be for you, but those children have to live with that. And now, come on, Chris, how many children have you been speaking to? I've no idea. Is there that many? So many you don't know, isn't it? Because yeah. we know of at least two 12 year olds and two 13 year olds. That's there is another old. one. Oh, you made your point. Can, can we leave it there? Oh, no, we're not going to leave it. We, <laughs> we are staying here until the police arrive. I know that. So it's okay. No, we're going to continue. We're going to continue. I'm not going to answer. How old are you? Right. Seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm seven. Seven, yeah. You're acting like it. Add a couple of zeros to the end. Yeah, seven hundred. Yeah, I'm acting your shoe size. My shoe size? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got small feet, mate. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny though? You're going to have a long prison sentence. Yeah. All right. This is what's going to be amazing. Longer than his shoe size. Longer than your shoe size. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Albert Steptoe. Why are you here to meet a 12 year old today? Just to talk. Nothing just to else. talk? Just nothing else, just to talk. Yeah, right. We've yes. seen every bit of chat that you have sent to them. No. Right? But this particular one, I'm just going to chat. Nothing else, just chat. Can I just make a point, right? This 12 year old that you're here to meet, she wasn't the first child that you wanted to meet, was she? Yeah, hope this great. There was a 13 year old you wanted to meet too. When? It's all in the chat logs. Well. There, nothing was arranged, but you talked about it. The fact that she wasn't far from you. And what was it? You even went as far as searching the trains and realising that she was only a short train journey away. I think it worked right. about 40 quid. When you mean searching the train? I've never oh. searched the train. Oh, that's not what you told the child. She was a short train fare away. That's what you said short train fare away you were even trying no. to work out how much it was going to cost to come and meet her because you arranged to meet another one as well no i'm ne only one no you haven't only one we have got every single chat log well, that you have said pr well prove it to me show me it we're going to show all the evidence to the police we'll show it all because we've got everything with this other child you talked in depth about how you wanted to meet up with her but you only wanted to meet her for a couple of hours so then her mum wouldn't find out you wanted to take her for a walk along the beach and you wanted to take her um, and you wanted to kiss her. Bad granddad. Or bad grandpa. No, 
Nope. I mean, Christmas ain't that far away. There's plenty. Oh, I just can't, mate. You're disgusting. Absolutely yeah, I know. disgusting. I, I know you are. You know I am. <laughs> I do. Right, do you want to know something? <laughs> you're pretty, <laughs> you're pretty famous <laughs> right now, Chris. You have got 1.6 thousand people who know your face now, who are going to know who you are, what you're about. Make that over 2,000 people. Over 2,000, yeah, that's streaming on two devices. Okay. Why are we streaming on two devices? We're live on Facebook right now oh, yeah, for nice. everyone to see. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Say hello, everybody. My name's Chris. I'm a nonce. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're a nonce. You're a nonce. No, I'm not. You're yeah, you are. You're a convicted nonce. No, you are. Your daughter found found out that you're a, a fucking nonce. Like you can't get. Better you sound like than a that, really fucking sad gnome. Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Fucking hell. Fucking Grandpa Smurf. Santa. I like Santa. Right, we are here today. As I said, I'm TJ from PPI. Okay, this is Joe from FTK. There's another team. We're also here on behalf for the kids because we protect children. We're also here on behalf of another team called Endgame. And you are there to meet their ch child today. No. Can I just say a massive yes. well done to no. Lexi Lou from Endgame, um, JJ Decoy and J Decoy from PPI and FTK, and also Kaylee. Do you not feel any shame in what you've done at all? Do you not feel disgusted? I'm very good at giving the silent treatment myself, but I'm not in the mood for that, so um, have a chat. Kind of looks like the granddad from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh yeah, he does a little bit. Do you know what it does to children? Do you know the harm that it causes children of what you're doing to them? You're grooming them online. You're talking sexual. You even said that you are looking if any other for children happen, from the ages of 12 to 14 because that's your preferred age. Please. Have you got a sexual attraction to children? No. So why are you asking for girlfriends uh, for between those ages? You're at, even telling these children that that's the age group that you're looking for. What well, I don't know is what the ones that we don't know about. I see. How many, how many are you actually talking to? I've no idea. Susie, I've no idea. Is it that many that I mean, you don't uh, know? They're the ones that we know about. <clears throat> we know of five. Is there any more than that? Because these children are going to have to be safeguarded. We need to know how many you're talking to so we can actually tell the police so they can safeguard these children and protect them. Because you've been online grooming them. No. Yes, you yes, have. Yes, you have. Mm. So what have you been doing then? If you don't see it as grooming, how do you perceive it? All I was doing was talking to them. That's but it. Chris, there's talking to children and there's talking to them in a sexual manner. They're I wasn't babies. talking to them in a sexual manner. But, sorry, but Will you putting, stop putting words into my mouth. I'm not putting any words into your <coughs> mouth. Can I have to sit down? No, you're not going to sit down because I think you're an arrogant it. cunt. You're staying right where you are. You told a child. <coughs> yeah. You right. told a 13-year-old child that you wanted to put your hands oh, down her yeah. pants. <laughs> Is that? Do you think that's normal? Are you sure he's like seven? Right, Chris, You're going to get yourself you, a bit cold there. Have you got any medical conditions that we need to inform the police about? So and anything? Got a heart condition. Yeah. Are you on medication for your heart condition? Yes. Have you taken your medication this evening? No. Okay. So what we need to do is let the police know, because when they come to search your property that you're in, even though... Is it a halfway house? I've no idea what it is. Has it been provided to you by probation service? Yeah. yeah probably a halfway house. So they're going to have to go in and check. Does, does Mapper come out and check your devices? <coughs> Mapper. <coughs> Mapper. They're part of the police service. They're meant to come and check your devices no, because Bison. you've. Bison. Eh? Bison. So do they come and check your devices? Uh, not very well. Clearly. And how many devices have you got? They're all registered with the police. All of them? Yeah. But they're not being checked by the police? Yes, they were at the time they were registered. <coughs> and that was it? That was it. So when was the last time they were checked, Chris? Oh, no idea. Well, I think that's disgusting from the police force, not checking. Sorry, my dog smells shit, he's going near you. You are a very, very silly man. Doing <laughs> sexual <laughs> predator. You are. You, Why are you, you keeping <coughs> insulting? Because you're a nonce. Oh, we've oh, just had yeah. another one come through. Oh, That's another child has come through to us. 
On a 12 year old. Wow. <coughs> a 12 year old, another 12 year old. So that's six. Yeah. If any other team has Chris Beeching from the Hastings area, please get in contact with us. Because we now have six that we know of. I guarantee there is going to be so much more. Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down. Put your hand up. Yeah. Yeah. And up yeah. and turn around, please. Face this way. That's okay. So you can turn around and sort it out. This way, you can see the light. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking so hell. All you do now is, is uh, yes, JJ. Um, of course, as soon as we get the email address from the police, we will get it sent across. Thank you so much. Yeah, and that's from defending the innocent. No, no, sorry, justice for innocent. Apologies. <clears throat> Why would you want to see your days out in a prison cell? I don't understand it. No, You're 17 years old. Seriously, I don't either. I've been, seriously, I've been trying to get my act together and then. I don't know why right, I so <clears throat> if you're trying to get your act together, why are you talking to children online? I, I, I don't want to hear the fact that you're lonely or whatever, oh, because right. at the end of the day, oh, you're an adult. Sorry. There are plenty of adults out there to talk to. Forward. Yeah, sorry, 11-year-olds come forward. 11-year-olds. 11. 11 and a 14-year-old. That is a pre-teen, right? So is the 12-year-old you're here to meet is a pre-teen, right? Do you know that carries a heavier sentence? Because you are going to be remanded today because you're still on probation. You're only released in September. And you have got so many pre-teen children. You have a sexual attraction to children. No. Thank you, Admin. We're aware of So what, why are you talking to them sexually? I'm if you haven't... not talking to them sexually anyway. Of course you are talking to them sexually. We have got every single chat log that you have sent. We have seen every single word that you have said. There's no point lying. I'm not going to say anything. Well, you've Did got you... plenty to say to these children, haven't you? Oh, That's yeah, eight man. children that have come forward, Chris. Yeah, starting to get boring. Well, you're boring me. In fact, you did a lot of that with all of these children, because you're 70. What have you got in common with a 12-year-old, a 13-year-old, a 14-year-old? What have you got in common? Nothing. There you go. Oh, hold on, is that... No. Just so everybody's aware again, this is Chris Beeching, 70 years old from the Hastings area. He's a re-offender. He's only just come out of prison for doing something se similar to another child. He was actually handed in by his own daughter. Do you still see your daughter? Chris? Because I hope that she never, ever sees you again. Have you got grandchildren? Yes, have you got grandchildren? Chris. Hello. Hello. Chris, have you got grandchildren? Fucking hell. Is there rigor mortis set in yet? Chris. Are we boring you? Are we an inconvenience to you, Chris? Chris? Hello? Fucking hell. He's acting like a child himself. Hmm. You are an absolute vile specimen. Yep, that's right. You actually are. You do not deserve yeah, to breathe the same air that we breathe. You do not contribute to society. That's what you get when you order Santa from Wish. Can I ask you, you're here obviously to meet a 12 year old child tonight. Have Wait. you met any children, any real children? No. Are you sure? Yes. Have you got any indecent images of children on your mobile device? Have you searched for any images? No. Are you sure about that? Because you do, you are aware, aren't you, that they will download your device? Yeah, no. I and haven't. if they do find anything on there, you're going to get an even heavier sentence. I can't imagine that you are going to... Well, I don't think you're going to, going to live. <laughs> Essentially, you're going to be in prison, I think, until you're gone. That's your legacy. Yeah, guys, this is Chris Beecham from the Hastings area. Oh, you're Ralph Harris. Talking to this is decoys your legacy. Massive well done to every decoy that's come forward. All, all um, the time you're insulted, so they're not going to say bloody words. JJ decoy, so JJ decoy. So, do you think FDK, if I lighten up a bit, you might start talking to me a bit more? And then you have but not on camera. Forward. 
Well, unfortunately, the camera's going to hear, okay, because this is for your safety and our safety, okay? This is so you can't say that we've hit you and vice versa, okay? This is a full log of everything that's happened here today, which will get sent to the police, okay? The police will have this live, okay? And it's a full and factual log of everything that we've discussed today, okay? This is why we're doing it. What I want to know, Chris, is why have you targeted young children? Do you know how distraught they are? Do you know what their parents are feeling right now for their children? Do you not care the damage that you're doing to these kids, Chris? Can you answer me that at least, please? Sorry, what was the question? Do you care about the damage that you're doing to these children? Yes, I do care. So why are you doing it? I've no idea. Have you, do you think you've got a problem that might need addressing? Yes, I have got a problem. Okay. And is that problem tailored towards attraction towards children that you think needs addressing? I've never had... Another one. It's only in the last... Right, another child's come forward, a 13-year-old. It's only in the last few years that uh, it's happened. The last few years. How long were you put away for before? Uh, I've just done 14 months. 14 months, okay. And were you on the VP wing in prison? What's that? The VP? Yeah. You're in there in prison, yeah. along with the other sex offenders, yeah? Well, actually, it was, it was a combination. But there were some, some people on there with um, other problems. Okay. Did you, did you enjoy going into prison? <laughs> no. Or was it a not a very nice experience? No. So if you didn't like it, why would you come out and... I've no idea, to tell you the truth. Seriously, I've no idea. Okay, because <laughs> what you need to do is when the police come, although you're going to be remanded because you're in breach of your conditions, okay, you will be remanded. But if you do genuinely think that you've got a problem, then you do need to discuss that with the police at interview, okay? Because they can probably... Did they, did they give you any help or put you on a rehabilitation programme last time or anything? I suppose I've, been, uh, I've, just, I've just been to probation to find out if I'm going on a new course that they're trying to arrange. Okay, is that the Horizon course, is it? I've no idea what it is. Okay. Yeah. Is that today? Mm. I suppose it's Sunday, Tuesday, that's what from probation in yeah. Brighton. Right, okay. Because what, what it's looking to me at the moment, Chris, is that you, you, you're targeting these very, very young children and the, the damage you're doing to them is irreparable, okay? There's a lot of people here... Sorry, you're just getting a tissue, are you? You just watch his hands, guys. Okay. Last the bridge at the wall. Because the damage you do to these kids, are, are children, are, are irreparable, okay? There's many of us here that are survivors ourselves, okay, that have been abused by, you know, people like yourself. I meant what I said, I seriously don't know why I'm doing it. Is it so when you were talking to these children, when you when you were messaging them, okay, and you were asking them about their breast size and No, I've never asked them that. You, you there, there is, we've seen No, we, I've never asked them that. You have. No, I haven't. Chris, we've we've Sorry, seen guys, the logs. The live. But we've seen the logs, but specifically one that I read was when you asked to put your hands down her shorts. No, it, it was just a, it was just a question. Oh, you, you wanted to see that. You also wanted to join her yeah. in the shower so you could cuddle up and be close. So you, you were naked in the shower together. Okay. No. Yes. Yes. No, we, I didn't actually. Uh, uh, I, there, it, 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 all it yet. was was a question, though. The question exactly. You asked her if you could, and no, it, and it was no, also a I remark. Say, uh, no, there was a couple of remarks as well, wasn't, wasn't it? Wasn't the actual question that I said. I can't remember what the exact question So was. hold on, you, you can't remember, what, that's not what you said, but you can't remember what you said. So I'm trying to find something. Oh my God. So can you just, can, can you, you... put your keys in your pocket? Yeah, can you just no, put your keys I'm in your pocket? No, I'm going to sort my bloody coat out first. Such a coat. Well, can you just... Fuck off. Excuse me? You are very, very disrespectful. You don't talk to a lady like that. Well, we'll right, can we get I the keys that. out of his hands, please? Because they can be used as a Whoa. weapon. Can we get the keys out of your hands, please? Right. She hand the keys I over, Chris. Mind me, mind me, hand, hand me hands! She's not hurting she me. She hasn't even touched you. Is, she's I've, not I've, even touched you. Let go of them, Chris. Let me get them out of your hand. You've hurt in my right. hand. Chris, go can you just let go of the keys, Chris. please? Oh, wait, just, it's easy if you just... Thank you. She didn't even hardly touch you, Chris. Fuck it, if we do 
Right. Let me explain. Five days after I came out of prison, I was in the Brighton Marina and I fell flat on my face and hurt my hands and she just bloody... She just handed the keys over. As far as I'm concerned, you could stab me with this. Yeah, that could be a weapon. I don't trust you. No, no, I'm not going to trust what's in your I, hand, I, I don't I? fucking trust you either. You're, you, you're not very nice man, are you, Chris? <clears throat> and this is why you are dangerous to our children. Very dangerous. If that had been a real 12 year old that turned up to meet you tonight, what would you have done if she'd have tried to fight her way out of it? What would you have done to that girl? All I was going to do was talk. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Then I don't believe you either. Well, you, I'm, I'm not telling you anything to believe, so. You, you invited her back to your house. So if you're going to meet a 12 year old and invite her back to your house, what were your intentions, Chris? You're asking to go naked in the shower of children. You're asking to put your hands down their shorts. Fucking disgusting. I know, you you tried to reassure her when she told you that she was language. naked. When she told well, you she. You Excuse me. You no, I'm not listening to you. You're not listening. Right, to Chris. Me. Chris, can you can, you, can you understand enough. why we're using language and why we're so angry? Because we're here to protect our children who are innocent, and you've been sneaking into their rooms online, okay? And you've been sexually abusing them no, through them. Sorry, yes, of course you have. Now, um, of course you have. So we're very angry. We're parents um, ourselves. Yeah, we've got kids ourselves. You've got you've got children yourself. What, how would you feel if, when your daughter was 11 years old, and somebody sort of jumped into her inbox and started asking sexual questions and telling them what they want to do to them? How would you feel, Chris? What would you want to do to that person if they did that to your daughter when she was 11 years old, Chris? What would you do? Chris, I'm, I'm asking. Chris, I'm asking you a question. Yeah, I'm busy doing something. Yeah, but can you just have a bit of decency. I'm actually been quite calm with you, which is rare for me. Okay, because I'm just trying to get some information. How would you feel if somebody did this to your daughter when she was 11? As as a father yourself, how would you feel? Disgusted. Disgusted. What would you want to do to that person? Can somebody do this shit for me? No, we're not going to touch. No, I think. Person, sorry. Can you put my bloody hand? Oh. Now, let me what might right? What might be better if that zip's not working? If you want to zip it up, you've got the little um, poppers on there, haven't you? Why don't you just put the poppers on just for now, okay? And then you can sort that out at the police station. Just to close it up a bit, if you just put the poppers on. As I was saying about my hand, coming out of the crime arena, I tripped over the slab, landed flat on my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw the photos of yeah. your of your damaged face that you sent and to the children. Did, I, also, I also did my hand as well. Okay. Right, would you like some assistance with doing your poppers up? Sure. Because it is very cold today, so you know, we do have a duty of care to look after you, unfortunately. But we do have to, okay? So just so you're aware, the police have been called now, okay? So what would have happened if I could, after this, would they would, you know, go back to my flat? Uh, they will take you um, uh, to your custody suite, okay? They will then go to your flat, they'll probably take your keys, go to the flat, okay? And they'll do section 18 on your property and search, okay? They'll also take oh, your device. Here, actually. Here, okay, well, they still have to go and check, though, don't they? They've still got to do their checks. The last time they did it, they smashed the front door in, doesn't it? They didn't have to, you go through the side door. Well, the only reason why they would smash the red door in, uh, smash your door in, is. Um, <coughs> Yeah. As if you're stopping them, getting, if you're stopping them from getting in. No, I told them. Like, so what do they do? Your front, do they go through the front door, or do they smash your back doors in? They went in through the front door. Okay. When you were in prison, did they smash your back doors in? What are you on about? Oh, yeah. sorry, no, your cell door. It's all right. No. Okay. <clears throat> we're just trying to find out and ascertain as to one way you. Warm enough. No, it's pretty cold. It's, we're trying to ascertain as to one why you're doing this and two to trying to get you to understand the damage that you do to these children do you understand the damage you do i'm going to, I'm going to let joe explain to you the damage that, that happens to the children and what they go through well first things first what do you think if, if you're talking to a child right what do you think that does to them to their brains. Well, it's stupid, you have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the reality of it, yeah? Technically what you're doing is raping their minds, yeah? They will live with that for the rest of their life. You can go to bed at, at the end of every single day 
getting a warm bed, go to sleep, nothing. No conscience. These kids go to bed and they have nightmares about people like you. You're the monster that lives under their bed. You are the monster that sits in their head when they try and get into a meaningful relationship as they get older. You're also the monster that causes the trust issues. You scar their mind, that, that never leaves them. I wish to, to apologise to all the kids that I... Well, look at the camera, tell them that, tell I'm, them that. I'm sorry, for I, what I I've done. I'm sorry for what I've done, I don't really... I can't say any, can't say any more than that. Shall I tell you what else these, Gen, these children do? Sometimes they go on to take drugs. Gen, they, they go on Gen, to, to self-harm. They, they go on to do far, far worse. But I don't think you care about that, do you? Cool. Uh, you stop putting words into my mouth. Cool. No, I I'm do. asking you a question. There's a big difference between putting words in your mouth yes, and do. asking you a question. I do care. You do care. So why are you doing it then, Chris? And don't give me I don't know, because that's not an answer, is it? But seriously, I don't know. Just, uh, what goes through your head when you talk to these children, honestly? So you're sat there, right? You're, you're tapping away on your phone. You had that child on whatever platform all, you had them on. All I'm doing is just trying to talk to them. But, uh, right. But do you not think there is a way to talk to them? Yes, if if you're going to do that... Yeah, but as I said, I apologise to everybody, and uh, as I said, I'm not going to come out again. So yeah, but you, <laughs> this is it, I bet you said exactly the same when you were arrested for the indecent image. No. I bet you said exactly the same, I won't do it again. I keep, as I said, I keep on saying I don't do it again. And, and then you do. Uh, yeah, no, I do. I don't, as I said, I don't know why I'm doing it. Well, you have admitted that you've got a sexual attraction yeah. to children no, that you I need help with. No, I haven't got a sexual <laughs> yeah, attraction. Yeah, but you have because you've told these these children that they're beautiful. You've called them sexy. Oh, you've you've given sorry, them me, every my, single... Bloody hands, pla pain, painful. Okay. It's cold as well. Ali G. <laughs> sorry. You look like him. What? It's all right. I don't think he even knows who that is. Did you just say I look like you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know Sorry, he's just, he's just told Joe that she, she looks like Ali G, but he has no idea who Ali G is. I, I don't do think Ali G has um, has Tell me she hadn't got the moustache. Oh, well, at least that's something. Yeah. That's okay, yeah. <laughs> that's why you look like Tupac, the dog. <laughs> Tupac, no. What we'll do, Chris, Whatever. is we'll inform the police about your hand, and then they can get you seen to at the police station. Is that it? None of us are nurses no, or doctors. No, I've actually That's seen it. I've just got to do exercises. But as I said, I'm, <coughs> I'm coming out of the arena, past somebody, and went flat on my face. Hold on, I'll find the phone. And I'll my hand at the same time, and it's I've just been to the past. Wait. Right. But like I said to you, you, you say all this stuff to these kids, and that doesn't make their mind. Admin, can you um, pin his name, please? Do you not. <laughs> Do you not have any conscience at all? Yes, I do. But nobody seems to, nobody seems to believe, believe me that I... But is it a wonder when you're talking to nine children? And, and I, do you know what? I would not be shocked if more come forward. And what concerns me most with you is the fact that you may have met a real child. I know you're telling us that you no, haven't. I haven't. Seriously, I right, haven't. OK, you're telling me that. But no, I, 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 I can't believe a word you say. I haven't met anybody. I can't believe a word you say based on the chat logs that we have seen. But I haven't seen anybody. And I'll continue denying it till I have my next heart attack and and die. No, I can't have any sympathy. I'm sorry. People right. like you, I I've oh, I just I can't. Just stop making comments then. Just we're not making comments. You're we're trying to ascertain. You don't like women, do you? You really don't like women. Chris, what? What is your date of birthday, sir? For the police. 301151. 301151? Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Sorry, just trying I'm to get the diabetic piece. as well. You're diabetic. Are you type 1 or type 2? Type 2. Type 2, okay, so that's diet control? Yeah. Diet control, okay. No more tablets, so it's like flat. Okay. And the police will help you. Cal, he's also he's type 2 diabetic, but he has got some medication for it that's in the flat. Sorry, just making sure that when they do come that they'll be able to sort of grip, grab your medication. I mean, you, you'll be able to tell them that when they come anyway. Um, tell them what medication you've got. So, you were saying that you were lonely, hence why you were talking to these children. I'm stuck in the, I'm stuck in the flat. Right. Nothing to do. Do you have hobbies? All, all, the only hobby I've got is music and... Uh, but you live in an absolutely beautiful area. It's a lovely area. You've got the sea, you've got lots of shops going uptown. The only problem is that I'm out, I'm out, I'm out in fact next month. 
Have you not got any friends around here? No. Have you got some from where you were? Uh... No. There's only for oh, you, New well, Haven. I did, I, did New... My, I did have my son, my daughter, well, my daughter, and my sister, but I've no longer got, now got nobody. Can I ask? Do you have any contact with your grandchildren? No. Okay. Do you have any contact with any children whatsoever? No. Okay. And was that contact with your grandchildren? Was that yeah. cut off by your daughter? Was it? No. Was that through the prison? They wouldn't let you see them, or yeah. would it be supervised? 2000, first offence. 2015, 16. 2015 was your first offence. I've no idea. I can't remember. Okay. And when was your second offence? About uh, 18 months after that, I think. Okay. And your third offence? No, no, I can't remember. As I said, I can't remember. Can't remember. No. And then fourth. As I said, I'm, seriously, I'm, I can't remember. I can't remember. Okay. So how many how many times have you been in prison for this before? How many how many times? No idea. No idea. About three times. Three times. Okay. Is that is that it? Like that. So guys, it all, it all, it all happened and started when the Jimmy Savile thing came out. Okay. And what? And that's it was just like um, Keith. Uh, what's his name from that lad from the Who? He went and online that he had yeah. a book. Yeah. And that was all, that's how it started. Just I just had, went and had a look, and um, look, and then look at me. So you started. So, pro, so what are you saying? Probably what 2015 or earlier? Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was been about 2015, 16. Okay, so that's when the whole sort of thing came about, and you decided what to have a look and see what it's all about. Yeah. So I've got it. I've got it for this one. Well, you know, this is, I've had no, I've had no reason actually help me to get to stop it. Okay. So therefore, I've got it. So were you on? Was it online that you were sort of searching for for the, for the children and stuff? Was, actually, was it groups? Did, did people send you stuff on messaging? People did you join groups? Sent me, sent me pictures. I didn't ask for them. They sent them to right, me. Okay. And were you sentenced for having sort of category A, B, C images and videos? I think um, some of them were C. There was a one A, I think. I can't assume it. As I said, I can't assume it. Okay. And recently, have you searched online again for for this? No. Okay, so it's been just on. Um, I'm not going to mention the platforms, but various online platforms. Only one. Okay. So that 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 one online platform. Is that where you sort of started to? What I'm trying to ascertain is when you when you went on to that platform, okay? Because uh, of course you, you you've added all these I, all children. I got, all I got was you may know these people, and I just clicked on the picture. Okay. That's so what about the picture? Was it that sort of drew you to wanting to add them? Because some of them on your profile are very sort of quite young girls. I can't ask you. As I said, just I just basically clicked on them. Yeah. And that's it. The other thing that concerns me is you told one of these children about a child that had apparently asked you for an indecent image of yourself. Yes. That's and true. That's that she true. wanted something inside of her. Yeah. Do the police know about that? Is that what you were locked up for? I was, uh, that would happen last year. Right, and are the police aware of that? Yeah. Okay. Is that what you are put in for 14 months for? Was yeah, sending no, in indecent images? No, it was 28 months. 28 months for that. I've done 14. Okay, so they've let you out on probation. Yeah. So you've done you've done half the sentence mm -hmm. so far. That's fine. Okay. I just wanted to. And that was did you did you actually meet the child or was it just purely online? I, I'll say it again. I've never met anybody. Okay. No, I'm just trying to ascertain. That's all. Okay. So okay. So it's just through online. Okay. So we're here. As you're aware, we're here today because we know. Well, we've had a few more come forward. A few more people who's children that you've been speaking to have come forward to us so at the moment we're on about nine children okay which is a bit concerning isn't it it's quite a high count that I've there's had, nine children also, that we know I about point out there was one lad who actually got in contact with me my aunt and he, said, he told me what he was into and then i blocked him 
Okay, a lad was it? A young lad was it? Fairly old actually. Okay, and what was he? What into similar stuff to what you're interested in? I asked him. I asked him what he was into, and he t- he told me. He, okay. Nine to fifteen, I think he said. Right. Okay. Chris and somebody, but I and did you? I blocked him. Okay, you blocked him. Okay. Do you still ha- do you have any of the chats still? Even though you've blocked him, have you still got the chat on your device that you had with that no. person? Do you okay. know the, the person's name? Chris. Uh, Chris no, 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 don't, 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 don't make me class. Do you know the person's name? Can you give it to the police? They'll have to be in. I, as I said, I blocked him on. You don't need to say any. Don't no, say I just said I blocked him on two. Um, <coughs> Yeah, no, that's fine. It's just, just because if what you can do is do your bit to try. If you want to start to rehabilitate yourself, okay, if it is possible at all, then maybe reporting that person who's who's in, you know disclosed that sort of information that's concerning about children. You can do your bit by disclosing that to the police so they can investigate that. Do you want my jacket? No, I'm okay. Sure. Yeah, fine. Have, we, have, you got, have you got another big jacket or anything in the back of your car? Just I here. haven't got a jacket in the back of my car if you'd like to use it. No, I'm That's okay. a spare one. Yeah, Are you I'll, sure? I'll be all okay. I think what he is standing around and the cold's coming up through my feet. I know, unfortunately we can't move now because it's the location that the police know about, okay? So we have to stay here with you until that comes. But I appreciate you now starting to be honest, okay? Now everything's sort of calmed and everybody's calm, okay? Everything's chilled. Um, I appreciate you being honest with us and sort of discussing this issue, okay? What we need to do is get to the bottom of how we're going to deal with why we're here, okay? So today you've come to this spot to meet a 12-year-old girl, okay? Like I said, we've seen we've seen the, the, the chat logs, okay? So we've seen what's been but said. I should point out it was her who decided where the meet was. It wasn't me. Right, so the location, okay, yes, but the initial meet that you wanted to and you scheduled the, the actual meet to you made the initial arrangement to meet with her okay you just needed to know where you wanted to meet her okay so that's 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 what we're discussing okay so you you you, you actually approached her about wanting to meet her okay yep. and, and, and but and, nothing was going to happen okay but you but you're here okay you're you're here and this is what's concerning is that she's a she's a 12 year old little girl okay They've been in contact with us, okay, and this is why we're here to intercept you to make sure that you don't actually meet her, okay? Because of course, when children are when um, children are quite small and young, okay, they tend to do silly things, don't they? They tend to jump on sites that they shouldn't and stuff. You know, they're rebellious, okay? The ones that I spoke to said to me that they shouldn't be. But that's not all of them, though. That's all, them, that's all the you ones I've spoken to. But you made them. the initial contact. Um, why, why are you here to meet her? If you didn't have plan on anything, because no, I didn't have anything planned whatsoever. But you did ask if she wanted to go back to yours. Sorry, just to interrupt. Another one's come forward. Another twelve-year-old. Another twelve-year-old. So that's taking it up to ten children, Chris. Okay, that's ten. You, you do have a problem, don't you? I've, I've, I've said it. I've, For years, I've said it, I've said it all yeah. along. Nobody. Quite simple. We've asked no. you if you got a sexual, in, in, no, sexual attraction. Got, no, I haven't got a sexual attraction. So attra- what? Attra- okay, whatsoever. okay, but if you don't have a sexual attraction, why are you talking to young girls in a sexual way if you don't have a sexual attraction? Just, uh, there's nothing. Is it, is it a so thrill? Is it a fantasy? Is it? Oh no, I. Have. I never really thought about it. I just go, just go on there and ask at the time. The fact is, that you've been going a long time since 2015. No, okay. no I think it's. I think it's a little bit before that. that. A bit, little bit later than that. Well, you said not you fi- not 2015, but the other way, 20, towards the 20s. Okay, so you, you you've been doing it for quite a many. What age would you say that you were when you first? piqued your interest because you're 70 now aren't you would you were you 50 were you 60 about 60 i think about 60 okay so you yeah it would be it would be about 60 okay so you've had an interest for about 10 years uh, 
2022, so you're looking at 2012. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be up, up then. 13, 2013. 2016. Two, six. I said 10 years. You said you were 16 when you first came to 17. Uh, as long as it takes, the, the beer is, uh, you know, we're, we're, the call's been made, we're it's, just waiting. Yeah, it's a high priority call. It's not being blue lighted, which is not serious risk. So they'll have to, uh, to be able to sort it out for some of the ever going to be able to stop? Yes. Or do you think it's gone too far with now? The, with help. Okay. Oh. The phase, not, not. So you, you, you'd like some help, or would you like help? To find out why I'm doing it. Recently, you're going to have a conversation with probation when you're about courses coming up. Yeah, the correct. Yeah. Okay. Thing is, I, I don't believe that these courses really work. No, I don't either. But something needs to happen to stop. And like I said, you, you're aware that you're going to go back inside now because you're you're against yeah, no, your I'm conditions. Not, I'm not going to see my sister, my daughter anymore, and my sister anymore, and my son. No. They're going to disappear, and I'm going to die in prison. Uh, unfortunately. You have brought that upon yourself mm. by your actions, haven't you? Yeah? You brought that upon yourself. Your, your own actions has led to this, okay? And the fact that you've been inside numerous times for the same offence, yet... No, actually, it's not the same offence. It's a different one entirely. Because the other one was, in, was just looking at images. Yeah, but I mean, I'm on about the, the offence is underage children, isn't it? It yeah. all relates back. It all relates to that, the fact that you're predating on young girls okay the fact that you've been inside before you are classed as a paedophile okay are you have you got a uh, are you on the sex offenders register yeah yeah for how long is it indefinite i've no idea okay I don't even know how long I've, I've and have you got a shopo sexual harm prevention order yeah. you have yeah and how long is that for that's right let's have a look uh 22 number Six years. So you're on. So you got a shop over another six years. Yeah. Okay. And they haven't extended it. I think that they will be extending it now after today. Okay. Once we've because we've got all the evidence. We don't come out without evidence. Okay. So we have all the evidence. This is why we're here today because we have all the evidence to present to the police to make sure that you do get locked up again. Okay. As I said, we're, we're a voluntary organisation. check on people's activity online okay and if anything flags that's inappropriate towards underage children then we start our investigations ourselves okay we work very closely with the police they know what we do and they know the evidence that we hand in is substantial okay so when i'm saying that we know everything that you've said that is the truth because we have got all the logs of what you've said every bit of chat that you've said because of course we've been handed all of this okay but what i do want to do is a big shout out to kaylee from ppi to jj from ppi to jenna from ftk and also lexi lou from endgame okay we're out today on four chat logs on four children okay <coughs> The names I've just read out are members of our team that have these chat logs, okay? What we're going to do, because it is cold, there's a bit more sheltered area just over there. Where we can give our blood a bit more pumping and work over the walks. If you come this way, it must be, mate. Yeah. So, guys, just breathing. He is absolutely freezing out here tonight. Um, <laughs> absolutely freezing, and my hands are starting to turn a bit blue at the minute. <laughs> but. Now things are calmed down, <clears throat> we are starting to get some more information out of him, okay? 
wind and the breeze coming so much. Okay. So we just moved them into the corner. Um, security's just moving into the corner because there's less of a breeze now. Okay. <clears throat> Try and shelter it from the wind. <clears throat> shelter us as well from the wind as well. Um, again, if anybody else is watching this, please can you come forwards and let us know if you have any chat logs on this guy, okay? His name is Chris Beeching, he's 70, from Hastings. <clears throat> We're out today for three teams, okay? Which is PPI, FTK for the kids, and also Endgame. Just a three-team collaboration on this one. And I just want to say thank you so much to all the teams. For working on this. Also a big thank you as well to Let's Do It Endgame um, who got, got the job meet and he is out here today to in, to meet up with a 12 year old child. Can I ask Chris, you said that um, quite earlier on that you were going to meet, well that you were going to change your mind and walk back. So why is it that you were going to originally meet the child last night? Like Same child. But you talked about meeting her last night and things quite materialised, didn't they? So I can't remember. Okay. So guys are just moving the uh, the discovery around to uh, close It just a bit more. worries me what you, you would have done to that poor child. No. So so what were you I know you're saying you were gonna talk. Where where were you gonna take the child? Where were you gonna take her to talk? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I think he might have been here. Um, what's it? Right now, uh, Eastbourne. I can't remember. So you were going to take this child on public transport, and, and what would no, you? No, I wasn't going to take her on public but, transport. But hold on a minute. I wish you'd get that right. Hold on a minute. No, I'm only asking because you've just said that no, you were going to take. No, I was. I was said that I can. Uh, I have to go on public transport. No, what I'm trying to say to you, Chris, is I've just asked you what you were going to do with that child. Where were you going to take that child? And you just said to Brighton. We're not in Brighton. No, I wasn't So how would you have got to Brighton? I, I wasn't going to take her to Brighton. Okay, so where were you going to take her? The thing is, I was going to Brighton to probation. No, what about now? With this 12-year-old you're here to meet today. Back to, back to the flat and just sit there and talk. And what would you have done if sort of anybody had questioned you on who she was? I didn't even think about it. And say if you got back to back to your flat and that child wanted to leave, what what would you have done? I would have let her leave. You what? would have let her walk walk, walk off into the night, pitch black, freezing no. cold. She said she was going to pay for the taxi, so therefore she, I would assume she would get a taxi home. She's twelve years old. Yeah, she's coming here as a taxi. Isn't she? Anyway, you've got the logs. You but what what what, 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 what would you have done if she, like I said, if she wanted to leave the flat, okay, and you let her, but her. but she said that she was going to tell her mum about everything that had happened. Would you still let her leave? Yes, I would have said what, what, Knowing that she was going to tell her mum and yeah. you could get arrested again. Yeah. So you, you, you were willing to yeah. take that risk. Yeah. Why would you take that risk for a 12-year-old child? Because I've got respect for them. I and don't laugh, it's not bloody funny. No, it's not, no, it's funny, not funny, but you don't have respect for them because you're talking to them in a sexual manner. No, I'm not that doesn't show anyone. any respect, I'm Chris. Not say anyone. You're quite you're twisting everything. You're quite an ignorant man, aren't you? Just like you, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. She's not ignorant. She's a super cunt. She's also not a man. Yeah, so. you're right there. Sorry? What, 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 are you, what, what? <laughs> I was only agreeing with what she said, so. Oh, what, what did she say? Oh, she's not man. Oh. Are you sure? That's fine, she checks. <laughs> 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 See, that, that's legal chit chat. We can have that because we're adults. But the chat you were having wasn't with an adult, was it, Chris? Can you stop going on about it? You've stopped putting words into my mouth. I'm not putting words into your mouth. I'm asking you questions. There is yeah, a big no, difference. Not, well, I don't know, I well I, I'm not saying you do, but I'm telling you I'm not putting words in your mouth. Me putting words in my, your mouth would be me making assumptions. I am asking you questions. Big difference. Hello, Loki. I don't care Hello, boy. whether you like or respect me or not. I'm not here to be liked or respected. I'm here to talk to people like you. Okay. And have people like you locked up for a very, Good very boy. long time. Good 
boy. So whether you like me or not, that's a relevant. You say that. You say that. Okay, so the police are here. We've just flagged them down. They're going to come around the corner now. Here they are to come and arrest you, okay? Oh, well. Oh, well. Is that all you've got to say? Oh, well. I have a few questions for you, I'm sure. So what have you got to say to these children that you've abused today? I've already said, I've already said, I've already, you've already asked me that question, I've already said it. I know, but I think they deserve just to hear it again, don't you think? No. I think you need to adjolopise to I'm them. Sorry for, I'm sorry for talking to you. Maybe sorry for being a nonce would be more appropriate. That'd show you're really, really sorry, Chris. Well, actually, you, you want to find out what that, mean, that word really means. It's what you are. No. Okay, maybe apologise. Sorry. Normal criminal. Criminal element. That's the one. Actually, what, what you are is a convicted paedophile, so we're allowed to call you a paedophile because that's what you've been convicted for on numerous Not occasions. Means something about um, exercise. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's it actually funny that he's actually looked up the definition. Alright, we're not, we're not going to debate that. At the end of the day, you're a paedophile, okay? You're a paedophile. No. Yes, you are. No. You've been convicted on numerous occasions. Anyway, I've got no one. The only bright thing about you is your bloody hat. Yeah, I know. You want to tell my daughter about it then, because she bought it. Well, Hopefully, I'm your daughter just... is not going to want anything more to do with you. I mean, she shouldn't well, in the first place. I'm not really worried. You're not, not really worried, worried about your own daughter? Your, your children. Do you know what? They deserve so much better than you, you piece of shit. At least I haven't swore at you. I don't care. It's the least you deserve. Well, well, at least I'm not a bitch. Well, do you know what? Bitches are absolutely beautiful, so thank you very much. They certainly are. Especially Loki, he likes a good bitch. Right, so another 12-year-old has just come forward. 11. So that's 11 children that we know of now. 11. Thank you very much, Shawnee. How many are you actually, oh, actually talking sorry, to? Oh, actually, sorry, make that another two 12-year-olds that have just come forward. 12. So that's 12 children. How many children are you talking and to, Chris? And you're coming to meet her in Brighton on Sunday. And that's why you just said Brighton a second ago. Yeah. You're getting yourself that's confused with all these children, aren't you? You're prolific. Absolutely prolific, And you Chris. wonder why people don't want to talk to you in the way that you feel you deserve. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve respect from anybody. Okay, so. Right. right, we're just going to hand the evidence over now to the police so they can make the arrest, okay? Loki, good boy, sit. Good boy. There you go. He's a really good boy, isn't he? He's amazing. <clears throat> so, hopefully they're going to throw away the key this time and you're not going to be allowed back out. And hopefully you spend the last days of your life rotting away in that cell because what you've done to children is absolutely appalling. It is disgusting. So, are we boring you? Yeah. My God. You're an arrogant fucking fucktard, aren't you? You are absolutely well, arrogant. People, like well, you unfortunately, you deserve to be sworn at because what you've done to children, not just this time, but over the years that you've been abusing children, okay? That's why. So I'm going to, I'm going to continue Sorry, guys, going to, to use the language that I want to use against you because you are absolutely vile. Yep, you're right. Exactly. But you almost seem proud that you're a fucking paedophile. You almost seem proud that you wear it as a badge of honour. I'm, I'm going to say something as well. Like You're saying that we're rude to you, but what do you think a parent would do to you? Like I'm a parent of three Actually, girls. Actually, it has happened. It has happened? Yeah. What, you've had a parent come to you? No. What's happened then? I got hit in prison. Good. Once. Yeah, would you really only, think... only once? Only once. You were lucky then. Very lucky. Yeah. yeah. Did you get bummed in prison? No. Mm. Well, what does that mean? Hey? Eh? What does that mean? What does that mean? You'll yeah. work it out. Maybe this time. Hopefully this time you will. It's quite surprising actually that you only had one person hit yeah. you in prison. I thought you were more than that. Mm. And I take it that's because they disagreed with what you did and they have children of their own. I really, really hope that your what children. Did you one of your daughters got raped by somebody that was a lot older than them. How would you feel if your young daughter, when she was young, of course, she's obviously older now, had been targeted by somebody like yourself? How would you feel? What would you want to do to that person? You should treat people how you want to be treated. Unfortunately, not doing that, are you? 
I really hope your children fully disowned you after this. I mean, they shouldn't have even brought you back into their lives the first time round. And I do applaud your daughter for actually handing you into the police the first time round. Have you had contact with your children since you've come out of prison this time? I've got nothing more to say. So when you're in prison with the rest of these sex offenders, do you sit in there and sort of plot your next moves together and share your stories and swap stories of each other? Is that what you do when you're in prison with other sex offenders? It's almost... In a way, it's a way that you can be yourself in front of people, isn't it? So, yeah. as a sex offender, is it quite nice being around people that you can just be yourself with, you know? Because it's, it's rare, in society, it's, it's a no-go, it's wrong, yeah, it's just wrong. But when you're around other people that are equally as wrong, I expect it's some kind of sense of comfort in a way, is it not? I'm just assuming, I'm, I'm actually asking you because I'm generally interested now, you just brought up a valid point. Is that the case? Maybe save your words yeah. now for when you get interviewed. <sighs> There's a very high chance that your children might be watching this live stream and seeing what you're doing all over again. How does that make you feel to know that? And also to know that your children are going to have to, you know, make sure that their children never see their dirty granddad. That's, that's, that, that's what you've bought. There's a huge ripple effect, yeah, on your family. They have to go around the streets, people knowing who they are and knowing that their dad's a paedophile. They have to live with that, unfortunately. So do the grandchildren, and kids are bloody cruel to each other. Uh, what do you think they're going like, to They're going to get into secondary school, and as soon as that comes out, they're going to be bullied for that as well? World's hard enough, let alone when you've got someone like that in your family. You got nothing else to say, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Hello. Hello, oh, Chris. Hello, 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 Anything you do say, maybe give an over. The necessity of the arrest is protected from the rules. Come on, Chris, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Should we get you in the car, mate? Yeah. If you want to hear us, go ahead, me or you. Oh, yeah, we got his keys because we got him. Oh, you give him. Just want to say a massive well done to JJ Decoy, J Founder, um, AUD Boy, and of course Lexi Lee from <coughs> Right, guys, as you see, that's Chris Beeching. He's 70 years old from Hastings. Um, fourth time re offender, absolutely prolific. And what he's been doing, okay, here to meet who he believes to be a 12 year old girl, okay, massive, massive well done to all three teams end game, FTK, PPI, okay, massive well done to Lexi Lou on her hard work she did today from end game, she's done an absolutely smashing job. There he is, he's now been arrested, so hopefully, he's now gonna stop doing this. Well. Hopefully they're going to keep him there and lock away the key, so they can stop him from doing this over and over again. Um, yeah, as you can tell, he was quite arrogant on this one. Really arrogant. Um, quite rude. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I know we uh, said a few things back, but, you know, the, the, the logs that we've seen and the, the ages of the children, I mean... Preteens. I mean, he's got a thing for preteens. Most of these decoys that have come forwards, or children that have come forwards, they're 11 years old, 12 years old. You know, they're, they're our babies. 
and he thinks it is absolutely acceptable to meet them and to talk sexually to them. It's absolutely vile, absolutely vile. But again, massive well done. Um, again, three team collaboration on this one. Um, really good working with FTK again as always, and always <coughs> good, good working with Endgame on this one as well. They've done a fantastic job. So well done, Lexi, on this. Um, I just stay here and record for a bit, just so you can see that he's in the police car and uh, I can take him away on the blue. Won't be blue lights back, will it? But hopefully I'll take him away to the uh, yeah. local custody suite. But yeah, we've had so many more decoys come forwards um, and I'm, I guarantee there's going to be even more. What we're going to try and do, I'm just going to make sure Joe gets uh, an address for you guys, an email address to send logs to. Uh, give me two seconds. Are you getting an email address for the others to go forward? Perfect. <clears throat> so Joe's just getting the uh, officer's address. Um, we'll get that over to you guys who've messaged us in the inbox. Um, if you do have him, if you've messaged us um, actually on the live, if you can just jump in um, our inbox, PPI or FTK's inbox for the address and we'll get the address um, over to you so you can submit your logs. Let's go see Loki, he is there. Lovely little Loki. Let's go give him a treat. It's a bit chilly out here, so we have put him in the car just for the last five minutes while we're dealing with him. And uh, we'll go from there. Hey, Loki boy. Hello, boy. Do a treat. Sit. Good boy. Kiss. 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 Thank you. Good boy. Loki Hunter's out with us as always. He's been absolutely good as gold. Let me just grab the lead, guys. Oh, down forever. Oh, flexi lead. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, just sorting out toilets and stuff. I'm gonna need a wee before we go. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, yeah, if you can just. Uh, Anybody that's got him, just jump in our inbox, okay? And we'll we'll get the uh, we'll get the arresting officer's uh, details over to you. But thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, he was absolutely vile. But yeah, get this shared, get him exposed, make sure that you know he doesn't walk the streets of Hastings again because he just does not deserve to be walking around. Again, because he's in breach of, breach of probation, um, it is a very, very high chance he's going to get remanded straight back to prison to finish his remaining sentence, as well as all the additional charges that are going to be brought against him based on all the logs that you decoys have worked hard against. No, thank you guys, I'm going to tune off now because it's freezing and I need a pee pee. <clears throat> Ooh, cool. Cheers guys.